Hello and welcome to Chairside Live. I'm your host, Megan Strong. So happy you're here with us today. In this episode of Chairside Live, dental implant pioneer Dr. Jack Hahn delivers the keynote presentation at the 2017 Glidewell Dental Symposium. You can't miss this one. He's imparting to the crowd his 45 years of implant expertise and experience. Let's listen in. With over 45 years of experience placing and restoring implants, keynote speaker Dr. Jack Hahn is a celebrated pioneer in implant dentistry. More than 20 years ago, Dr. Hahn developed the original tapered implant design, and more recently, he oversaw the design of the Hahn tapered implant. He's received numerous awards, including the Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Academy of Implant Dentistry. Dr. Hahn lectures around the world and continues to maintain his private practice in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, his keynote address, The Emergency Implant, will explore how an office interruption can be turned into a productive service for your patient. So my topic basically is uh, immediate extraction replacement, which is the emergency implant. It's generally a patient that calls in the morning, has a broken uh, tooth, and chances are it's a root canal tooth with a post. I don't want to say I've been in this a long time, but uh, that guy on, the, on your uh, right there was my pet when I first started. <laughs> so we see this is the typical patient. We talk about patients saying yes. These patients want something done. This is the easiest cell you're ever going to get. If you can take a patient that comes in like this, they say, I can't go to work. I can't go to the party tonight looking like this. If you tell them you can take that tooth out and put an implant in and a provisional crown on it and they walk out, that's the wow effect. Do you think patients tell our neighbors about a three-unit bridge? Oh, look, I had a three-unit bridge, Mabel. Okay? But the single implant. Ah, Mabel, I had an implant done today. You did? Why? I was missing a tooth. Well, they already told you 35 million Americans are missing one or more teeth. Uh, Ms. Mabel says, you know what? I'm missing a tooth, too. Maybe I ought to go see. Who was that? Dr. Jones. Okay, so now a lot of these patients... When we take the tooth out, the first thing we're going to do is go in with a perio curette and you drag it against the facial wall. You've got to discern how big is that? Is the whole facial plate gone or is it just a hole? So that's like a porthole. So there, in a the case like that, we go ahead and prepare it as if it's not there. We want to go longer than the tooth you're replacing. So then we see as the healing goes on, as Dr. Kaczynski showed, we see now the inner dental bone, which is supporting papilla. As Peter Worley says, the bone sets the tone, but the tissue is the issue when we talk about implant aesthetics. Every patient has a high smile line. I like these lectures, medium line, low line, high smile line. What happens the minute you give the patient a mirror? What do they do? I say, smile, look. Oh, yeah, look. What, what's that little thing right there? What's that dark spot? Like a piece of spinach there. Oh, you don't smile like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. Yes, I do. Anyhow, so here basically, here's your pilot's checklist. You're going to extract the tooth. Atraumatic extraction. Dr. Sessinger showed that. That's one of the most important steps. I take more time of extracted that broken root than I did in preparing and placing the implant. The Han system, we designed those drill kit so simple from left to right, uh, depending on the diameter and the length that you're gonna use. We clean and prepare the site. That's very important. When you think you got it clean, clean some more. We graft any fenestration, and then we can insert the implant, and you can even add some more graft if you need it. Now, if you're gonna do an immediate temporary, you're gonna place the abutment, you can prep that abutment in the mouth. Now people say, oh, you can't, you're gonna generate heat. You're not if you use a high speed, sharp metal cutting burr. I use a, a 558 crosscut Fisher burr with copious amounts of water and you're not gonna heat it up. So then whatever way you're gonna make the temporary, you have these preformed crowns or if the crown is still intact, you can take an impression before you take the tooth out and then put acrylic in that impression and, 
and seated on over that abutment. So you want to, another thing that's very, very important is you keep it out of occlusion, at least one millimeter in all excursions. I'm very careful about that. And you want to seat it with a good temporary cement. Here's a case that we did, single broken tooth with a post going through everything. We put a ceramic abutment, custom ceramic, and a boxer crown. And we're pretty much in harmony here. We're pretty much in harmony. Not enough for a patient to complain about, but we kept the inner dental papilla. So you look at this in the x-ray. I'm getting onto this thing now. Uh, again, you can see the peaks of bone, the value of the platform shifting. So here's, you can get a good look at the Hahn impression coping. Uh, you can see the deep vertical grooves, the horizontal grooves, so that this is going to be very stable in an impregum impression, whatever good material that you're using. I like to use a, a good bodied material. And then uh, here's another one. You can see the custom abutment. And uh, I work with a technician from uh, Glidewell. Darius wanted me to put in a good word for him. Darius Ruddy. OK, tell Darius I said good things about him. He's terrific uh, in, the, uh, in the implant department. So when we talk about graft materials, this is my uh, go-to. Dr. Sessenter showed it. It's mineralized, uh, cancellous cortical bone. And then I take these little hot dogs, I call them, that are impregnated with uh, the granules. And we hydrate it. And then I flatten it out and put it over the graft and put it over this material, it acts as a membrane, but you're also building bulk. And it's better than a membrane, in my opinion, because it's osteoinductive, uh, osteogenic, and uh, rather than putting these membranes on. Putting membranes on a lot of times is like putting a 10-legged cat in a bag. You put it here, you tack it here, and it comes up here. <laughs> put, put, put it here. You know? So I don't have the patience for that. Now, you have a patient here that has a large fenestration. So to me, this is better to graft this and put your mixture in and let it heal for six months and then go back. And then look what you can do. New bone, look at the tissue. Here the blanching. Turnow, Dennis Turnow calls this the 11 minute blanch. He put the margin in. This goes away in seven to 11 minutes. It means that the tissue is tight. That's again from the platform shifting. The difference between the Han implant and other implants is it's associated with the best laboratory in the world and the best experience. They get 6,000 general dentist cases a day and 500 implant cases. How can you beat that for experience? Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for that, Dr. Hahn. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Chairside Live. So on behalf of everyone here at Glidewell Dental, thank you for watching, and I'll meet you right back here next time.